Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my newest video. Anyway guys, in this video it will be a quick Blu-ray update. I've only got five films guys here to show you. So guys, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first one up, and this is of When a Stranger Calls. Yeah guys, there's the front. Spine. And then the back. Yeah guys, um, yeah, so this is basically a special edition. Um, because this doesn't only come with this first film, but it also comes with the second film. I think it's made for TV, and it is of When a Stranger Calls Back. Now, obviously, I love this film. Um, I got this film on DVD, but now I can replace it with this Blu-ray. Um, but obviously, I bought this release not only for the film, um, the, the, um, the first one, but, but I really bought it for the second film. That comes as an exclusive, I think, with this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to watch When a Stranger Calls Back. And now I have. Um, it's an okay film, the second film. But the first film will always be, be my favourite. So, there we are, guys. That is it for When a Stranger Calls. And When a Stranger Calls Back. Okay, guys, and now, um, next up. Now, um, I haven't seen this film in a while, but obviously this Blu-ray, it is the director's cut, but this film comes with two versions, the theatrical version and the director's cut. Now, now obviously I've heard that the, the last 20 plus minutes, you know, of this film for the director's cut, um, it's got some changes, and of course I do like I do like the director's cut a tiny bit more than the theatrical version because I feel the director's cut version is more closer to the actual musical itself in terms of um, the main character deaths. Well, but that's what I feel. Anyway, guys, the uh, the Blu-ray I'm talking about it is of Little Shop of Horrors, guys. The film version with um, Rick Moranis. There you are, guys. There's the front. Spine. And then the back is. So yeah, guys. Um, my favorite character from this film has to be um, Oren, I think it is, the dentist, played by Steve Martin. So yeah, guys. Um, he's my favorite character um, in this film. I still like the theatrical version, the happy ending, but the director's cut is more uh, is more of a darker ending. So I prefer that one, if I'm being honest. Okay, guys. And then next up for the Blu-rays. Now, guys, um, um, obviously, all of these films I've wanted for like a while to um, replace my DVDs. So, there we have it. It's just kind of an update, Blu-ray update, but it's also an upgrade to my you know, DVDs to these Blu-rays, so it's cool. But, yeah, guys, um, this has been a, um, a release for my DVD um, upgrade that I've wanted for like a while. And it is the collector's um, edition of Pumpkinhead. Here we are, guys. There's the spine. Um, the front, sorry. The spine, and then the back, guys. With um, with um, a great um, documentary and a kind of a um, tribute to the late um, Stan Winston, who done um, who directed the film, and with the creature effects, it's it's really cool, and it looks really beautiful and crisp on Blu-ray. So Pumpkinhead, one of my favourite films to watch from Halloween time. Okay, guys, <laughs> this is also another um, collector's edition that I'm finally now re um, replacing on DVD. You know, now upgraded to um, Blu-ray. And, of course, um, this Blu-ray release, uh, out of any other Blu-ray release, I've always wanted this one from Shout Factory. And it is of George Romero's Do um, Day of the Dead. There we are, I guess. There's the front. Spine. And back, so yeah, guys. Um, as I said, um, this release I've always wanted, um, because I've always loved the artwork with Bub on the front, who's the main um, zombie with the gun, Bub, which is really cool. Um, out of all of George um, Romero's um, Dead series, um, my favourites are just two top favourites, and that is Night of the Living Dead, the black and white original version, and this one, because I've always loved Bub. And yeah, I'm glad to finally have this now in my Blu-ray collection, so it's cool. Okay guys, and then last up for this video and this Blu-ray update. And obviously this is also a collector's edition. 
And also, um, I'm replacing this one from my DVD to Blu-ray, as I said. Um, but uh, but obviously, this collector's edition from Shout Factory, um, this comes with the, the theatrical version and the uncut and rated version with all of the gore and blood and stuff. And it is of one of my favourite films ever. And it is of My Bloody Valentine, the original film. Here's the front. Spine. And then back. So yeah, I guess um, this comes with, um, you know, like um, interviews and, you know, just interviews and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, um, but out of the two versions, um, now, as I said, I mean, I live in the UK. <clears throat> and so I'm not sure that, that if we've ever had an uncut version in our country before. Um because my UK DVD version has always been the theatrical version. And and I've always seen pictures and footage of the, you know, gore and the, you know, the uncut stuff, of the gore and the blood and stuff. Um, but it's only until now with Shout Factories that they've got two versions on, you know, on, because... Um, the theatrical version is on its own disc, and the uncut and rated version is on the disc too. So it was great to have uh, both versions on their own individual discs in one set. Um, but out of the two versions, I am someone who likes the complete film with, with death and gore and stuff. So the uncut and rated version is my favourite by far. So I'm glad to finally have it now on Blu-ray because they both look great. Anyway guys, that is it for my quick Blu-ray update. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and see you guys in my next video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.